Yes, guys, how are we? It's finally happening today. The very first episode of the Conquered Wealth podcast, numero uno. Number one, I've been meaning to do this for months and months. I've just been so busy and tied up and crazy, and it's just literally got ahead of me. But now we're finally doing it, and I'm super excited. Um, you know, I started Conquered Wealth really to inspire people in all forms of their life. You know, think subject matters that I know about, um, financial wealth, nutritional wealth, health, emotional wealth, physical health, etc, etc, social health, and these are all things I'm either qualified in or had a lot of experience in, and I've had so much life experience at a young age of 32, I just feel that it's so important to pass as much of this knowledge on as possible, and to talk about different subject matters that, that matter to people really, looking at... Um, all different subjects and we're going to have guests on and experts in different areas and you guys, I want you to ask as many questions, email things over, leave things in the comment box in YouTube because the more questions you guys ask me, the more subjects I can cover of relevance and it just helps me to do more shows, do more episodes, get more guests on so the more support you guys give me, please subscribe, it really encourages me and you know what, we're going to start today, episode number one, with success. Now, that big, massive word, success, what is it? How is it defined? And the reason I thought this would be a good starting place today is because one of my clients actually asked me, they said to me, you know, Louis, I, I want to be more successful. How can you help me be more successful? And this is someone I've been working with for two or three months just over two months, in fact, already. And I said, well, what do you mean? Like, you need to define that success for me. What? I don't know where you're coming from. Really, I knew what he meant. Um, what he meant was that he wants more financial success. He's said to me that he's looking at, you know, his friends, his close friends in particular, and they're driving nice cars. They've got big houses. And he feels inadequate to them and he feels that he's not doing well enough and, and how can he get to the level that they're at? And there's me, I'm saying to him, well, hang on a minute, let's dial this back a little bit. Let's look at how you define success and let's actually look at those people in true detail and see if that's the kind of success that you want. Now, in... In the places, in places like UK, China, India, America, and and, and very kind of money driven and financially driven economies, we are so obsessed with our only form of success being financial. Well, what about physical success, emotional success, nutritional success, social success? And what I mean by that is, you know, not taking your whole life away just to, to have money and being successful on the surface financially, but not necessarily in any other areas of your life. And so we started dialing things back and I said, right, first of all, let, let's look at your life and you're telling me you're not successful. I, I beg to differ. I think you are successful. And we looked at his physical state, he's in great shape, he's got a six pack, works out four or five days a week, weight training, he's a, he's a very good footballer, he's got a body that most guys would envy. And I said, that you know looks like a degree of physical success to me. Nutritionally, he's great, he's got a keto adapted kind of paleo um, diet, absolutely happy with that, that's something we've worked on together, um, socially brilliant, he's married, two kids, they, you know, he doesn't have really any problems with his relationship, he's got that side of things locked off, and, you know, mentally he's in pretty much, you know, like all of us, goes up and down a bit, but he's in a good place, he's solid, he's not depressed, he's not anxious, um, has challenges, but, you know, we, we, we work on them together as he's um, life coach, trainer, nutritionist, these are just kind of challenges we have, but it's nothing too dramatic. So I said, okay, we, we've we looked at those four things and he agreed that he's doing pretty well. He's always got one eye on wanting to move forward, to improve physically, to maybe find a new goal, to make sure the diet stays the same, to make sure that he's social side with his friends, family and girlfriend or, or wife rather are at that same state. But 
when we looked at the financial side, actually, again, I said to him, well, you've got a good job. I'm not a huge fan of a job. That translates to the word just over breadline. If you didn't know that, you learned something new today. But anyway, he's got, we'll cover that in a different podcast. He's got a good job. He's solid. If he lost his job, he'd have money for two years, okay? He's got a house. He's got a nice car if that's something that, you know, you're really into. Um, he was comparing himself to two of his friends who uh, have done particularly well in this, this area on paper. But when we dug a little bit deeper, actually, it's, it's a bit of a smokescreen. You know, they're both grossly overweight. They're pretty depressed and unhappy. All they do is work and they sacrifice their whole entire wealth, health pyramid to essentially be as rich as possible. And when you're substituting that for happiness, because you think that's the only thing that we can be defined by success wise in this kind of modern day society, then, then you've got a real issue. Yes, I believe that money is important. Yes, I believe that more passive income, therefore more freedom is important, but I don't believe that that is, so should be a subject to other aspects of your life. So what we've done is we set some goals, we looked at how he wants to financially improve, and he said he wants to earn more money and have more free time. So we're looking at more passive investments, whether that, you know, be you know, certain types of businesses, business ideas that he can work on, properties, um, other types of passive investment, passive investments that we looked at. We look, I won't get into too much detail, but we looked at various angles and over time, though, though, those will allow him to be a little bit more free. We looked at the physical side, tweaked those goals again, just to improve on them. The nutritional side, again, that's great. And I said, You know, like I say to everyone, get the physical and nutritional side right and most other things will come together as long as you're you're following the right patterns. And if you're physically active in the correct way and your nutrition is good, you're gonna you're going to feel better. And if you feel better, you're gonna be more productive in the financial side of things because you're gonna have more energy to think clearer and to focus more on the things you want to do you're going to feel happier and feel better in your relationship. So therefore, you're not bringing home like anger and tension, etc. at home, you you know, to the um, to the home place after a day of work. And you're going to feel mentally better. That just goes without saying. So I think I wanted to keep this one short and sweet today. I really want people to think about what defines success and, and what that can mean to you. And not to sacrifice one pillar for another. Don't sacrifice your nutrition and your physical health to be rich because there's no point being the richest man in the graveyard. I always have this thing that, you know, being 80 and looking back, you're never going to wish you worked more hours, but you're going to wish you'd done more and achieved more. And that's really, really important. So guys, have a think about that. I've kept, the, as I said, the podcast short and sweet today. I don't want to ramble too much, but... I want you guys to get an idea of where I'm coming from and who I am. And we're going to discover more about me as well in the upcoming podcast. It's not all about me, but I want you guys to build a picture up of uh, of the guy you're getting to know. And, and, and you know, we, I, I hope that you can connect with me and we can work together on, on building better people. So, guys, leave comments, subscribe to the, to the podcast, and um, I'll see you next time.